Hi hello, so here's the video handover for your Bursner. Um Tim says he'll see you tomorrow. I've set up your warranty, that's set up to go from tomorrow. Um and I've left him the paperwork, you just need to sign the terms and conditions and then he'll do the transfer of ownership. So basically the front of the van. Your bonnet re release is just inside the door here. And then down here is your diesel fuel filler cap. The seat has two height adjustments, both the passenger and the driver's seat. So this is for the front of the seat going up, it's quite a strong spring, and for the rear of the seat going up. And then you've got your back rake support there. And then this wee lever here, and this wee lever here, are for turning the seats, so you can have your full dining experience. That's your reverse camera screen over in the far corner, and then you have a six speed box. Your indicators and lights here, and then below it, your cruise control. This is your habitation paperwork and your MOT paperwork. This is your water fill, so you just fill this with a normal hose. Gas locker, electric cook-up point. Toilet cassette, just in here. You just pull this lever up. Underneath there, see that green lever, pull that up, pull this out, take it to the septic tank, unscrew this, empty it down the tank, and when you put it back in again, make sure it locks back into place again and that wee lever's back in space. You've got your two bike bike rack and then your reverse camera up the top. And then underneath here, that grey tap there is your grey wastewater drain. So you just turn that tap and that drains your waste. Now there's a hose in the garage area here that connects to that. If you want to direct it somewhere. Your under bed storage. So that's your tool kit over the back there with your jack, your wheel brace, etc. The spare wheel, your carpets and the hose I was telling you about that connects to your drain. And then in here is your boiler drain. So the blue one is your frost protection. You'll see the wee, red, the wee blue dot at the edge there. If it gets below 2 degrees that will pop out and it will drain all the water from your boiler to protect it. And then to manually drain it, put this up, I can hear it all draining, and pour it outside. And that's that, then you've got your waste day just here for holding this up. It sits just inside the locker, that locks. So then you have your boiler flow here, then you've got your other locker at the front here. But again, here we stay here. It just pops in there. Inside the van. So you've got your bench seat and your other two seats here. If somebody else is using this internal seat for travelling, you take this seat pad here out and that gives them the footrest across here. Um, all your books and Instructions are inside here. Your table to drop, to move the table, you press that foot pedal just down there. And then position your table where you want it, fold it over, and there you go. Give you your full dining area. But obviously, with the dogs, if you're going to remove the table, just undo the screws, get yourself a wee freestanding table and that'll leave plenty of room for the dogs. Um, you've got your centre pole here for your for your outside awning. You've got your fly screen here that closes when the doors open. This is the remote control for your air conditioning unit fitted to the, the back of it. This is your control panel so you have on and then you have these two which tell you your battery strength so that's your leisure battery and then that one there's your vehicle battery and then you have your water and then your water pump. So don't run your water pump when you don't have any water in it or you can risk the chance of burning it out. And then when your power's on, you can manually turn all your lights on using the switches that are dotted all around the van. That turns them on and off for you. Your fridge. Hold this button here to turn it on. You see it will power into life then. You can either have it hooked up to mains gas or when you're traveling have it on that and oh it's beeping now because the engine's not running uh, have it on that 
So if you're going to wait tomorrow, hook it up tonight. I know you're not going to wait tomorrow. Hook it up tonight. And then when you go to travel, put it on to that and it'll act cold. And then you've got your temperature here for how hot or how cold you want it. Now hold that button there and that turns it off. Up here, just your wee simple grill operated from here. Gas operated. Sparks away to its wee heart's content there. Then in here you have your TV bracket and your TV power and aero connections in the back there. And to get this bracket out, you push this lever here in. And this all slides forward. I'll try and do it with one hand, there we go. And that slides out, and then you put your TV on there. And you can watch it from the bed, or watch it from the dining area. And then locks back into place. And then keep it all nice and tidy. Your heating controls here, I've got a wee separate sheet for that. So I've left that with your paperwork. Your three ring gas burner, your wash hand basin kitchen towel holder and then all your cupboard spaces along the top and your wardrobe here your awning winder your hanging pole your aerial for your TV and above it your smoke detector and then in your bathroom straight ahead is your bathroom the wee lever at the side is for opening and closing the valve and the blue button is your flush button and then beside it, we've got LED indicators for the level. Your shower, left for hot, right for cold. And the same with your ordinary tap here as well. And your shower screens and uh, your wooden step. A wee work, um, medicine cabinet type thing up there. And then you've got a wee cabinet down here as well for keeping all your toiletries. Or all the dog stuff, no new. Underneath your fridge, just a wee shoe storage cupboard. Couple of drawers under your sink, and then your isolator here for your gas taps. You don't need to touch them unless you do have a gas problem. And then you've got your waste hand basin in there. And then your drop down bed simply press that, pull it down, and it'll come down to the height of the top of the, the unit here. And then when you push it back up again, make sure it clicks back into place again. Um, anything else? Just give me a wee phone, you know where I am. Um, and enjoy the van and say hello to the dogs.